Why am I making lotus stem today? Yes, of all the things in the world, why lotus stem? Lotus stem looks like this. It's really high in vitamin C. It's a high fiber, low calorie food, rich in powerful nutrients like zinc, B complex. So it's great for your hair, it's great for your skin. It boosts digestion and helps prevent water retention among many other benefits. Lotus stem it has a mild flavor and it's pleasantly sweet but not as sweet as a sweet potato and not like a regular potato so it's somewhere in the middle it does retain a tender bite my version of this recipe is very indian and it's called kamal kakri in india that's a tongue twister kamal actually is a lotus flower in hindi and kakri literally translates to cucumber kamal kakri kamal kakri kamal kakri i love saying that somehow <laughs> anyway, so Kamal Kakri is a delicacy in many, many cultures and it's easily available in the Asian food market. You might also find it in the frozen section, chopped up. People even like to stir fry this and bake this. I have all the ingredients here. I'm going to use just one potato. I'm going to wash it, peel it and chop it into one and a half inch pieces. I've also taken a puree, like tomato puree of about three medium sized tomatoes for two of these lotus stems. I also need ginger garlic paste, cilantro powder, actually the coriander seeds are seeds from a cilantro plant. So coriander powder sometimes also goes by cilantro powder. If you can't find it, it's fine. We're using cumin, so I would just up the cumin a little bit. But I'm also using cumin in this recipe. So I have got coriander powder, cumin, mango powder, turmeric, and then some whole spices like one clove, one cardamom, and one little piece of cinnamon. I'm also going to use a little bit of red chili powder because I like it a little spicy uh, but you can use cayenne or red chili flakes if you have them. I'm also going to chop spinach really fine and add it midway through the recipe just to get that extra iron and make it super healthy. I'm going to give it two whistles in the pressure cooker. We're going to start by just peeling off a thin layer like a potato, not too much of it and uh, chopping it into half inch slices. You see these threads? These are normal. This is a good lotus stem. Unless it's black, it's not bad. If it's black or slimy, don't use it. I did add a pinch of salt, so I'm going to give it two whistles and then we'll move on. So I turned off the stove because that was our second whistle. If you want to release the steam faster from a pressure cooker, you just have to hold up the whistle and the steam releases quicker and then the lid will automatically fall in as long as you open the lock behind. So I'm going to release the steam off quickly. Whatever is left of it, I mean. I'm going to drain this and be right back. I'm going to use avocado oil, about two tablespoons. As soon as the oil gets hot, I'm going to first add the ginger garlic paste and all the whole spices, which is the cardamom, the clove and the small piece of cinnamon. And then I'll throw in all the other spices, including one teaspoon of salt and saute them. Lower the flame to a medium low so that the garlic and the spices don't splatter on you and quickly then add the potatoes and the strained lotus stem. My flame is still a medium low. Once they're nicely coated, we are going to add the tomato puree. The veggies do tend to give out a little water, but when I add spinach, then it also gives out a little water. So you don't need to add water, but if you see that it's, it's getting too dry, I would suggest adding a couple of tablespoons of water. And now we're going to lid it and let the potatoes cook in all the spices and the spinach and the lotus stem soak in all the spices and the sauce. So that's how it looks. All right, let's check on this. I'm going to add some black pepper. Ah, the fork went in so easily. If this were pasta, I would have said it's al dente. Mm. It's still thready, that's normal. 
You can have this as a side, you can have this with roti, naan or rice. I'm really missing home. I haven't been to India because of the pandemic. So this is exactly what I needed right now. Mm. Love it.